expectation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art the king of kings. For the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beast of the field and the powers of the heaven hath he given into thine hand, and hath made thee ruler over them. Thou art the head of gold, and after thee shall arise in the kingdom inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of grass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdue all things. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and the toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron. The kingdom shall not shall be divided. The kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of the iron. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with mercury, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of of disease among the people. Praise God and be seated. Thank you. The gospel of the kingdom, Jesus went about preaching. A kingdom not made with hands, cut out by the hand of God. God started this wonderful kingdom after. Mankind made a mess of himself. He created Adam and Eve. And in their fall, he gave them hope when their hearts were filled with despair. The kingdom God wanted relationship with man. So he started Adam, Eve, and he continued. The kingdom was a kingdom of deliverance. Because of man's condition, it was necessary for God to bring about deliverance of it for his life. For man has fallen in despair, in distress. And that fall has caused man to be less than God wanted him to be. Less than what God created him to be. So God brought about men to restore that relationship which the king had with the subject, which the king had with the one he created. 
he brought about Abel, the gospel of the kingdom. Abel came preaching righteousness because it is a righteous kingdom. And he lost his life. But his blood cried out to God from the earth. And it cried for justice, what they are crying for today. It cried for vengeance, what they are crying for today. So in the book of Hebrews, it speaks of the blood that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Because God's kingdom was a kingdom of peace. But man's heart desires justice, desires mercy, he desires grace. And through grace, God brought in different ones to bring about and to establish, to further establish his rule in the heart and the domain of mankind. Hallelujah. We have Enoch who was translated. Bible said before he was translated that he had this testimony that he pleased God. He was righteous and he pleased God. Even though his generation was not, but God extended his grace unto Enoch. And he walked with God for 300 years. God brought about Methuselah. He brought about Noah. Brought about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, God told him to offer his son is a sacrifice. It's a kingdom of deliverance. Sometimes we can't understand the king's request. But what he wants is from us is obedience. At times it proved difficult to obey. But yet at times when we obey, we find the fruit of our obedience. And even when we have made mistakes and disobey, God bring about something or something, some way for us to be reinstated or for us to maintain our walk with him. Enoch walked with God and in walking, God said, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. It is a waiting upon God, the God of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Abraham when he was about to slay his son, his only son, the Lord called out to him, lay not your hands upon the lad, and he saw a ram in the ticket. The Lord said that I provided myself a sacrifice. I am that I am. I am there in your situation, in your difficulties, in your hard times. I am there when you can't understand. I'm there when you're complex, when it seems perplex, I'm there. So God called out to him. Now I know God said that thou love me. Now I know that thou obey me, thou will, and that your children, you will teach them about me. God knew his heart. God tried him and found him to be one who was willing to obey. Amidst all his challenges, amidst his failure, he was a friend of God, a friend of the kingdom. It is God whose job.